I was not expecting Pokemon news this morning. No one could have predicted the announcement, but before we get into that, there's something very important to talk about. Good morning from Pikachu trainers. Say it back. Good morning, Pikachu. Good morning, everyone. Let's get into what's going on. So, did you catch Pikachu's dance performance at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this morning? Get it? Catch Pikachu? We had to try it? Well, the thing is, this actually has a little bit of significance behind it because of COVID, we didn't know if we were even going to get a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, but there's also been like rumblings and little talk that Pikachu was still going to show up. And despite all the craziness that's been going on, we still had Pikachu at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's pretty cool. That's pretty hype. But that brings us to the big news. Need one more thing to be thankful for today, trainers. Our Pokemon 25th anniversary celebration kicks off in 2021. Stay tuned for more details. And this is massive because it's the earliest announcement we've really had for anything like this. And also, I think it's pretty cool, pretty timely. A lot of people, they can't be with their families for the usual celebration, so I mean, this actually restores a bit of normalcy, or at least makes kids feel really good. If I was a kid in this situation with how much I loved Pokemon, how much I still love Pokemon, this would make things feel just a little better. That, you know, you get a surprise announcement on Thanksgiving, that does kind of bring things back just a little bit, and I think it's it's welcomed, you know? Other times, it feels like there's corporate shilling, or they're just trying to make use of the pandemic in these troubling times. We need to come together and buy some Burger King. You know, it, it usually feels like garbage. With this, this feels very sincere for Pokemon, and it just means that we all win. So 25th anniversary, we still have the catchphrase, train on, and this also ties in with something I've been saying for a while now, but brought up very recently in a video, and that's even if you disagree with how the Pokemon games have been going, Game Freak, the Pokemon company, they understand Pokemon, and one of the side effects of that is a lot more transparency. The Pokemon anniversary really never meant much of anything, but then, it all came together for a brand new Pokemon adventure, and since then, all of the announcements have been awesome. Like, the new music video? The new music video. If you didn't tear up, you're not a real Pokemon fan. Same thing for the 20, you know, 2016 Pokemon Sun and Moon announcement. Uh, there was that Pokemon... What was it? The Pokemon Center Anniversary music video, or video that they did with, like, Pikachu jumping around through all the generations. Everything they do is awesome. So this level of transparency, like I said, they've been building up the anniversaries more and more. Like, everyone knows the 25th anniversary is happening, and the Pokemon company isn't keeping it secret, and they're like, hey, here's something to actually look forward to. It's gonna be so big that we're getting, like, the earliest Pokemon anniversary announcement ever. It's months away. We have three months at least, you know, December, January, end of February, yet here it is on Thanksgiving, 25th anniversary. Let's go. That sounds pretty cool. And now we get to go and dive into the details that we already have about the Pokemon 25th anniversary because of an oopsie from the Pokemon company, special 25th anniversary Pokemon TCG set releasing in February, and this started because of an accidental pull in one of the recent Pokemon sets. This actually goes back two months. So, it happened in September, but there was a promo code for the 25th anniversary that had a similar logo to the 20th anniversary, so I was like, oh, this isn't a hoax. This is just straight up something that happened and was confirmed, and also provides a lot of insight into what the Pokemon company might be planning for the 25th anniversary, you know, 12 of 25, where well, you just do the math on how starter Pokemon work, and then that's all the generation starters, eight times three, plus one Pikachu, and then it makes a lot of sense as to what's going on. So I mean, this is what I mean, we have details. We already know that there's going to be a promo for the 25th anniversary that deals with all of the starter Pokemon. Hold up! Let's go back to that picture. We have a promo for the 25th anniversary that teases all of the starter Pokemon in the background. So it's not just like, oh, 25th anniversary, move on. No, there's actually details to extract here on top of like the meaning and the purpose and the good feelings that are coming from this. So yeah, like we got the Pikachu tail, so I guess we get to count Pikachu in, but all the starters just kind of pouring in, flooding in. That's pretty cool. And that's also similar 
to the Pokemon 20th anniversary when we had that so like you know just all the Pokemon hanging out inside of the logo and also there was like just the you know, full color one that was just 2-0 with Pikachu's face that looked pretty much exactly like this one. So, I mean, yeah, and there was also a lot of events and some pretty cool things that were going on. Pokemon Day, that's a thing. It was so big that there was other Nintendo IP cross-promotion, and then, of course, that's when we had the giveaway for all of the mythical Pokemon. If it happens again, like, do we get another year of mythical Pokemon? That could be a thing. And it would make some sense, because, like, even though we got Keldeo, and there's game data for Victini in the Crown Tundra update, nothing else really going on over there. There could be a Celebi event to make up for the one that was tied in with the movie in Japan that we haven't seen yet. Zarud is going to be next month. So Zarud doesn't seem to have anything to do with the 25th anniversary, but if we do that, then that means all the legendary Pokemon, all the mythical Pokemon, and then whatever happens for the game announcement, probably will make a lot of sense as well and then we just cruise right into the future of Pokemon so the Pokemon 25th anniversary probably gonna be a lot larger than the 20th but this is when they were really like noting hey Pokemon anniversary things end up going down get ready for all that so that's some pretty cool stuff and once again I think it's just kind of keeping Pokemon on this, on this path that they've kind of established over the last couple of years. You know, now they changed their corporate website to where it's about connecting the real world and the virtual world. For Pokemon, we have the spotlight, they were talking about their updated philosophy, presence message, uh, showing gameplay for Pokemon, new Pokemon Snap. That's gonna be hype. So, I mean, we have Pokemon Unite on the table, new Pokemon Snap on the table, and whatever other augmentation combining into life thing, you know, Pokemon Smile, Kind of a weird thing, but it's cute and cool for the kids. Also, we're still waiting on Pokemon Sleep information. And then whatever other peripherals and things that Pokemon wants to introduce. Maybe an update to Pokemon Home. Maybe all of that other stuff going on. Like, the Pokemon 25th anniversary is looking to be big. And there's no way they're going to blow it and not give us, like, the main series 2021 game announcement. But again, that's still three months away. So close, and yet so far, really. Because, like, ah, we can make it to February, but I mean... Normally, we'd be in the middle of a new Pokemon game, but we got our expansion, which was like half-ish or a little more than half of a new Pokemon game, and that's was last month, so we're already tearing through that one, and yeah, now I guess we just kind of wait. Maybe we get Pokemon Unite next month, at least we have the Zarud event, there could be some kind of Christmassy thing, this just kind of bumps up the hype a little bit more going into the next couple of weeks, and then before you know it, 25th anniversary is going to be here, and then we'll know what the Pokemon company is up to, because right now it's kind of a gray area, like... We don't really know how far they're going to take it, how big the 25th anniversary is going to be. There's going to be teases, there's going to be a countdown, so that's going to be something that we need to pay attention to. So it's actually, yeah, more like, you know, two and a half months. And then we start getting into that hype, and then all the big anniversary celebrations and stuff happen. November's pretty much over right now, so you knock off a week, there's going to be Christmas break, so, you know, those days just fly by, and then you get presents and stuff. Wow, the Pokemon 25th anniversary is happening in a month. I'm really excited, and I think it's really cool that the Pokemon company did this with what's been going on, so hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.